you had some fun today with your daddy getting so much trouble in the end. There's a problem with uh, public culture, and it is a problem that uh, people are. Thank you. There's a problem in popular culture today, and the problem is that people are not allowed to say things that are true or that are real. People are not allowed to express opinions that millions of ordinary Americans hold, which are not bigoted or racist, sexist, misogynistic, homophobic, transphobic, whatever the fuck. Um, <laughs> they're simply ordinary opinions that millions of people hold. Um, there is a problem when perfectly respectable, reasonable mainstream opinions become proscribed by the, by the media. What I'm about to do... No. <laughs> no. What I'm about to do is to draw attention to something that they don't really want to speak about very often. They don't want to talk about very often. I'm, I'm um, a, a gay man who uh, flew down to Orlando after um, you know, as an Islamic lunatic murdered 50 people and injured another 50. After seeing what happens in, what ha has happened in, in Britain, in Europe, um, as, a, as a warning from the continent, I don't want you to go the same way. I don't want America to become like Germany, with uh, accident and emergency departments where doctors are being spat on because they're female. But, and doctors are being stabbed because they failed to save the lives of male children. I don't want America to become that because we rely on you guys. We love you, we trust you, and we rely on you. Without a strong America, without a strong America, we're left with China and Russia. So coming from Europe, having seen what the sort of weak globalist politics does for people, having seen what left-wing establishment politics accomplishes when it is allowed to run riot. I want to come to you. I mean, I'm here in America to tell you that there is a different way, there's a better way, and it is cleaving to the principles on which this country was founded. It is remembering that freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, capitalism, property rights, these are the things that make America the best country in the history of human civilization. Oh! Oh! America, oh! Yes, bitch. America is the kindest. America is the kindest country to minorities. It treats women, blacks, gays, trannies, whatever you you know, whatever minority you choose to identify with, it treats them the best out of any country anywhere in the world. Hell yeah, it does. And when the left when the left looks at this country, it sees a history of oppression, bigotry, and, and constructs a variety of conspiracy theories to explain why they're still uh, fucking unhappy. We're not <laughs> South Africa. No, you're not. <laughs> when I look at, at America coming from Europe, which is a you know, which is a relatively enlightened continent, I see a country that has taken the best of humanity. Freedom of expression, property rights, all of the things that, that, that allow people to flourish. And it's created a country out of those ideas. This is not a country created by ethnicity or geography. This is a country created according to reason. And ideals and those ideals are the best the best basis that anybody has yet come up with with which to found a country the left Hillary Clinton you know it being the, the largest and greatest incarnation of the left in America is determined is determined to unravel the founding documents of this country they hate the First Amendment they hate the Second Amendment. You cannot allow that to happen. You cannot allow the identity politics of the left to take control of your civil society. You cannot allow the progressive left to start privileging Islamic terrorists over women and gays who already live here. You cannot allow the insane identity politics, the ludicrous and prejudiced bigoted, crazy ideas of the left 
to distort the principles that created the best nation that, that, that our, our species has yet come up with. What I'm going to do tonight, which is going to be deeply uncomfortable, <laughs> I know I'm worried that the blood's going to get everywhere. It's going to, it's going to get up in things. Men get periods too. Well, they will today. <laughs> they will today. Um, what I'm going to do today is to draw attention to the vast gulf. And, you know, I'm, I'm primarily a media critic, so I want you to, to, to interpret this as an expression of frustration with how fucked your media is. The American media, you know, has every, you know, has every resource available at its, at its disposal and has squandered all those resources. The American media is the most intellectually and morally bankrupt media anywhere in the free world. Yep. Um, yeah. 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 What I want you to take away from this is the gulf between the rhetoric you hear on CNN, on MSNBC, that you read in the New York Times, that you read in the Washington Post, and reality. When an Islamic terrorist attack happens, and we know, despite what we're told by our politicians, by celebrities, and by the media, we know that it is tied closely to an ideology that is profoundly antithetical to American values. We know that the reason these things happen is an ideology which doesn't share American values. But the media says that the really big story is Islamophobia. What we should really be worried about after Muslims kill dozens of people is hijab pulling. Here's this in the rap music. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to draw attention to this evening is the gap between what you're told and reality. What I want to draw attention to is the priorities of the media versus the priorities of everybody else. Donald Trump's campaign and the populist, conservative, and libertarian movement that has fueled it, and that exists everywhere in Europe and everywhere in America now, and is not going away whatever happens in this election, has understood that the media has lied to and about you for decades, and enough is enough. These pictures, and please turn your cameras away from me and to these pictures, these pictures are people who were killed, who were murdered, by illegal aliens, by people who have no right to be in the United States. These are the pictures of people who need not have died, but for an elitist, globalist philosophy that puts principle over human life. And I'm also going this evening, aside from these, these victims, to be performing on behalf of the victims of Islamic terrorism too. Whether it's Orlando, 7-7, 9-11, I wish Americans would learn their fucking lesson. Yeah! 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 9-11 happened here. They flew a plane into the Pentagon. Woo! And America wants to re-elect the, the, you know, a woman who's taken 50 million from those countries? No. Set aside the fact that she panders to, uh, to gays here while sucking up for donations to some of the most regressive and homophobic uh, some of the most regressive and homophobic uh, <laughs> countries anywhere in the world. Just look at it on the facts. Just look, just just take it for what it is. Approach it simply. This is a woman who is going to welcome in more terror, more bloodshed, more horror, and yep. is going to create more innocent, unnecessary death. The left is protesting this, even though the, our own gallery here is now getting cold feet about it. Uh, and this has already been moved once, as you know. This is, as far as I'm aware, um, the first really significantly protested art show since Piss Christ. Woo! And it is, as far as I'm aware, the first significantly protested art show in history to have been protested from the left. Yeah! <laughs> Aside from my natural joy in making <laughs> feminists and social justice warriors and Black Lives Matter activists incredibly <laughs> angry, um, I'd like you to ruminate on what that means and think about how the culture wars have changed and changed very rapidly and, and, and in a very short space of time. The dissident element in culture, punk, mischief, irreverence is now better represented in politics by a Make America Great Again hack than by anything on the left. If you want to annoy somebody, 
you want to piss your parents off, if you want to be ejected from polite society, as this poor angel has been, <laughs> there is no better way to do it than to cast a vote for Donald Trump. This is the, this is the new punk. Republican is the new cool. Thank you for coming. Thank you.